Hi, in this episode I will show how to make a simple Wi-Fi button that can be used to do some home automation. But it won't be one of those regular huge ones. It will be the smallest Wi-Fi button in the world. I will use those simple ESP modules and a corresponding serial to USB device. As firmware I decided to use Mongoose OS and try the deep sleep capabilities. The function will be very simple. When the device starts up it will perform an action like sending data to an MQTT server or calling a web link like we did in the smoke detector tutorial. After this operation is done we invoke an infinite deep sleep. When we press the reset button the device simply restarts and performs the action again. To be able to program the ESP module with this serial adapter, we have to pull the GPIO0 pin low. You can use a resistor between those pins, but I soldered a small switch to the back of the serial tool for convenience. Initially it struggles to program and there is no reset button to hold. So I simply connected the serial adapter without the module and initiated the programming. When the flashing process starts, I simply plug in the module. After setting up the Wi-Fi or adjusting the access point configuration, the code can be updated over the air using the IP address just like this. When playing around with the code, never let it deep sleep directly after startup, otherwise you won't be able to change the code over the air anymore. You can simply use my code, links can be found in the description. If you don't like to use direct web links for the action, you can also configure an MQTT server. For simplicity I'm using Adafruit.io here. It's a free and easy MQTT service. You can set it up in the configuration. As server you type io.adafruit.com. Then the username of your account, Bitluni in my case, and as password you paste your security token which you can find in the settings of Adafruit.io. Keep this a secret. Activate, store the configuration and switch to the advanced configuration. It's needed here to deactivate MQTT in the RPC settings. Save it again and now you can use MQTT over the API of Mongoose OS. To run the ESP standalone you have to provide power and a pull up on the power down pin, often labeled as CHPD. I am running the device directly at 4.2 volts from the battery, however do it at your own risk. On startup the device consumes 70 mA, when idle 20 mA and around 500 microamps when in deep sleep. That's too high. It's caused by the small power LED which is always lit. I removed it and tested again. Now it only consumes 50 microamps in deep sleep, which will last for over a month using this 50 milliamp hour battery. I removed the connector, soldered a small button between reset and ground and connected VCC and CHPD. I also added a small connector to charge up the battery later. As a final step I designed a case and printed it.
finished. I really like it. The parts containing the USB programmer cost around $5 total. That's not really much. Let's test it in a real life scenario. <gasps> oh damn, I forgot to feed the cat. Okay, okay, the cat feeder needs a little bit of fine tuning, but you get the point. The button works fine with the MQTT service and also with if this then that. If you really like my work, feel free to support me on Patreon. You can get early access, some extra content or get your name displayed in my next video like these gold supporters. See you next time!